Hello and welcome to Searching for Strange, the show where we deep dive your favorite internet mysteries. I'm your host, Ashers. Um, I am joined this episode by um, legendary Jimothy Strange. Jimothy. Legendary in my own mind, but thank you. Thank you. I am doing (laughs) great and I hope you are as well. (laughs) <laughs> I am. I, I'm doing fantastic. Um, I'm excited to talk about this topic. Uh, I think that this is, you, you chose a really good one. You chose this. I, I won't take credit. You you picked this one. I did. And, I did uh, offer this one up. You did. And so obviously this is a story that that you're kind of familiar with. Um, what's your history with it? This is one, I, I like to watch a lot of those uh, uh, iceberg kind of videos on YouTube. And this mm-hmm. was one that I first heard of. Oh, maybe back in like 2018 or so, something like that. I was watching something and it was it was something along the lines of top 10 Internet mysteries. Maybe it was like a watch mojo or you know one of those yeah. kind of deals. But I saw it on there and it just it had kind of intrigued me, you know, since the first time that I heard it, because it's it's one of those things that you've heard of, like sleep paralysis, demons and all these things of people seeing the same thing and just the thought of something like that it just it it really draws me in i like the thought of that kind of stuff like a collective unconscious all seeing the same thing i love the thought Mm -hmm. of that so it's it's intrigued me ever since yeah this one's uh it's not necessarily um scary it's disturbing is is what it is um yeah because like you said you've got the collective consciousness and it's like what is that are we connected in some way um is 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 he is he uh conscious in some way um you know what's the deal with this man um so this man i uh i I understand you know where you're coming from about the icebergs and the watch mojo um (laughs) (laughs) or god i you know i i I would try to watch chills i i cannot um you know that's that was just one that i couldn't stomach but um yeah this one's always kind of just been in the back you know on the back burner here in my life uh something i've been familiar with something i've come across you know every so often and and, you know i'll tell you if you guys have not seen this man uh if you are very new to this topic or if you just want a refresher just go to google right now pull your phone out go to google while you're listening to this and type in this man and, and you'll see the image that that we're going to discuss, which is largely what this is all based on. Um, so, Jimothy, do you want to go ahead and get into the, the history of this man and when this started? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So back in 2009, uh, there was a website that popped up and it was called thisman.org. And it was supposed to be a place online to gather evidence for incidents that occurred where you know people around the world dream of quote this man and again as asher said you know you pull up the google search for this man you'll see him apparently according to this a lot of people have been seeing it and it's what you'll see usually it's a a wanted style poster like think of like the 1800s and like the pony express office like where the sheriff puts up the wanted thing uh it's it's a sketch of just it's a guy he looks like a middle-aged guy uh thinning hair parted to the side he's got really bushy eyebrows wide set dark eyes a mouth kind of like the mona lisa like he's not quite smiling but he's also not just sitting there it's, it kind of looks like if you accidentally make eye contact with someone in public and you like kind of give them that like that half smile. Yeah, <laughs> he, he definitely if he had a mustache, I, I would say keep him away from every child ever. That's kind of what he looks like. He doesn't have a mustache and he still looks like that is the, the worst part like of it. Him not having a mustache makes him look creepier. I I can't even imagine him with the mustache. It's hard because it's he's just so in, burned into my brain <laughs> as this face. He's just <laughs> this man, you know. Uh, so and then under under the picture it says, "Ever dream this man?" Every night throughout the world, hundreds of people dream about this face. And I I gotta say, if I ever did dream about that face, I don't think I'd sleep again. No, because yeah. he's he's not a comforting looking fella. No. It's it is ugh, I, I don't like it at all. But <laughs> the website 
It says that in January 2006 in New York, the patient of a well-known psychiatrist drew the face of a man that has been repeatedly appearing in her dreams. On more than one occasion, that man has given her advice on her private life, and she swears she's never met him. So the portrait apparently stayed on the psychiatrist's desk for a few days, and then another patient comes in and says, Hey, I've seen that face. That man is always in my dreams, which one, I, I think that kind of violates HIPAA, maybe leaving patient files out, but we're, we're not going to go there. We're, we're not going to deviate. Uh, so he sends the picture, the psychiatrist, he sends it to some of his, some of his, his colleagues that specialize with patients and recurring dreams. And within a few months, uh, four patients will recognize the man as a frequent presence in their own dreams. And all of the patients just refer to him as this man you know so and apparently according to the website uh, it says between january 2006 and current day it says until today you know whenever this may have been updated uh 8000 people at least have claimed to have seen the man in their dreams cities all over the world los angeles berlin sao paulo tehran beijing rome barcelona stockholm paris new delhi moscow etc so it lists a lot of the big ones doesn't list a uh, you know a Bowling Green Kentucky on there, but I assume there's got to be somebody there that's <laughs> probably seen one here in, in our in our little podunk area. So yeah. and apparently there's a, you know according to this there's no relation to the people who have dreamed, no common traits, no common threads. It's not like any of them have always worked here or have this name or have this genealogical lineage. Nothing like that. It's just. There and it says no living man has ever been res- uh, recognized as resembling this man. But the thing about that is that guy looks pretty milk toast. He looks pretty plain. Right? Like, yes, I, I feel like I've seen people that that do look exactly like that guy. For sure, <laughs> I, I agree with that. I, I think that him not having some type of resemblance to somebody um, is a whole another mystery in and of itself. Because you know, honestly, I guess I've I never really looked on the internet for one, and maybe I should have for this episode. But like, you would think somebody on the internet would have been like, "Oh, my dad looks like this man," or "My uncle looks like this man," <laughs> you know, and, and nobody has. Um, well, here's the cool thing about that: on the website, there are some pages with uh, uh, people. There, there are some that like look like it. There are things where people have, uh, they've put their actual pictures and stuff up there and theories. There, there are. Uh, maybe it wasn't on this website. Maybe it was somewhere else that I was looking when I was researching. But there were a lot. There were places of people posting that looked exactly like you know this man. Oh, okay. So that so, does exist. Yeah, there, there, there was something somewhere that I did see that it was, it was out there, and it was like, no, that that looks exactly like this guy. I'm sorry, this man. <laughs> so, yeah, this man. Right. I hope that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope one day he comes forward and he's like, that's my name, this man. <laughs> that's my name, this man. It's uh, <laughs> the two words in, together, this man. <laughs> in Spanish, he's el hombre. So you know, that's just... <laughs> he's like, he's like, it's it's actually this man. That's <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he could be like a Joseph Thisman like that. Yeah. that uh, he can easily be that. Yeah. Yeah. This man. Uh... <laughs> Again, he looks like somebody that I would not let drive a school bus, but that's. <laughs> Like, yeah, I don't think he's, story. <laughs> he's that bad, but that is the interesting thing uh, about this this man is that he is um, not somebody that at least when this all started, uh, right now it's been it's been out for you know almost twenty almost twenty years. Well, not, not really. It's but fifteen. We're 15. going to fifteen. Yeah, yeah well, we'll say fifteen. Um, you know, but nobody knows him in real life and that's the mystery of it but everybody is dreaming about him so it's not like this is a friend a neighbor a family member that people are seeing in their dreams this is a totally separate guy who they have just kind of constructed in their brain um and one thing that i've always heard about people that you dream about is that you don't actually dream about people that you've never seen before yeah you your brain can't construct new faces so it makes dreams out of uh like facial jpegs in your brain of people you've seen yeah. on the street strangers things like that mm-hmm. so that that is yeah. one thing i've heard as well and uh, and i don't know how accurate that is i'm not a dream uh expert or anything but um you know as somebody that is that likes these topics of course dream, you know dreams is something we've talked about i believe i actually did a, a an episode one of the earliest episodes on the wednesday show was about sleeping 
and it was, you know, we kind of dug into a, a little bit anyway. Um, so that's the the anomaly behind this man is that nobody knew who he was. And so there's this website that's out there constructed. Did he actually, do you know if he actually, the, the creator of the website, if he went around and put flyers, like physical flyers up? I don't know if he personally did, but they have definitely done that because on the website, there is a tab that says in the world. And these are all photographs of places all over the world. Like the first three are Auckland, New Zealand, Austin, Texas, Barcelona and Spain and Berlin, Germany that are all like the flyers in their native languages there that are posted up and they, they've reposted the pictures of them actually out and about in the field. So whether the man who created the website did that, or if people just went ahead and printed the flyers out on their own and did it, I, I don't know. I'm not certain on that, but they they're definitely out there for sure. That would be really creepy to come across. <laughs> to come not, across. They, yeah, actually, not it kind of makes, story. Yeah. It makes me want to print one. <laughs> take it, take it to like a local community bulletin board here. <laughs> start, start hanging up hanging them up around town yeah do it because there i mean there are people that that aren't familiar with the story you know um and then they would probably have so what ended up happening is with this website uh, there were people that were coming forward saying i've seen this man um and you know oh. the 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 encounters with the man have varied greatly um he's a good guy he's a bad guy he's indifferent He'll give you the lottery numbers, whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, he, he could be anything. Uh, you know, it just changes depending on the story. Um, some people have had, I think it's interesting. Some people dream about having sex with him. Um I've read a lot of those experiences actually. It's so weird. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think that it's turned into some weird fanfic now. It's just people kind of just submitting those just because. Um, but yeah, it's you know, it, it's very it, it varies uh depending on the person. Um, some people have even come forward and said, I am this man. This man is me. And they have tried to use it to sell things. <laughs> <laughs> of, of course. As, um, as capitalism does. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They're like, I am this man and I am a great healer. I'm a psychic medium. I'm a prophet. You know, wh whatever it is, you know, they're trying to sell and they're like, yeah, get in contact with me for $10,000 or whatever. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll interview you. Know, I'll sit down with an interview for you for 10 grand. I, you know, I don't know. Um, but there was a lot of interest in this story. It really became a big, a big thing. Um, what do you think about the cultural impact of the genuine people coming forward saying, Hey, I've seen this man. See, I think that it's possible to uh, see. Now, I, I personally have never dreamed of this man, you know, in the half decade that I've known about this man, I've never had a dream about him that I can recall. Uh, but I do feel like you could probably hear about this and then have a a weird dream in the future like it, it could be like kind of a mind virus where it, it infects you and you dream about it or he's also got kind of one of those plainest looking faces ever like there's there's no specific details to him or anything so you literally could just have a random weird dream and it can be like wait no that was definitely what i dreamed about like that was there was just a, a weird man that was nondescript that that said something weird in my dream like that. I could absolutely see that being being a thing like that's that's not far fetched at all. Yeah, I agree. Um, he's so nondescript. I barely remember my dreams now, you guys. Like, I'm not going to remember a dream from 10 years ago, 20 years ago. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I, I've yeah. got a couple of them that I do, but they're far and few between. <laughs> far and few between, right. And, th and, th and this man was not in them. <laughs> no, he was not. Um, but, you know, just in general, I, I don't think, um, you know, I, I've, of course, I've had dreams of just nondescript humans that I didn't really see and i remember those dreams really well um but if i were seeking answers if i were somebody that subscribed to the idea of of dreams being something significant and i were seeking answers and i came across something like this man i could see how i would go oh you know what i had this weird dream this one time and this man was in it um you know i, I don't know what do we know about the uh the creator of the website so the creator of the website is an Italian sociologist in a marketer named Andrea Nutella, not Nutella, 
which would be which was in my the whole time I was reading It'd about be delicious. This, I kept thinking Nutella and it was just like a Pavlovian response, yeah. which again, more psychology it just made me mouthwatering <laughs> the entire time. So, he is an Italian sociologist and a a marketing guy which is why he came to make this great website so he uh in in courting he gave this interview with vice and this interview with vice is is fantastic it's they go in pretty depth with him or pretty in depth with him uh because he said that it was the winter of 2008 and he dreamt of this man and this man told him to create a website to try to find an answer for his appearance so he says that he built the sketch using facial composite software. So he used, you know, a 2008 AI. app. <laughs> yes, essentially, like a very a rudimentary, what we would consider rudimentary, you know, today uh, builds an app like making the face. And he's like, OK, this is it. He sends it out to his friends and his coworkers, and he builds the website following the instructions that he got out of the dream. So they're asking him all kinds of stories and he actually goes pretty in depth with with all of them. You know, it's it's he's he's giving very detailed answers and he's 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 covering all his bases there. So that's that's what we know about this guy. He's he's got his story down and he's a he's a sociologist. So he understands why people would think the way they do. And he's a marketing guy. So he knows how to put the word out there to to make sure that other people know it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> good on him for this. Um, but <laughs> as as you can tell, um, the story has changed, right? So the initial claim was that this was uh, from actual, um, you know, pa patients. Uh, <laughs> who this man came from, and now yeah. the man didn't come from them, but it came from him. Um, the the beginnings, the origin story of this man, I think, are not really that relevant. Um, so this man, come come to find out, is a hoax. However, womp, womp, womp. however, that doesn't mean that it's not anomalous still, and this isn't something that we haven't seen before um you know in other areas of of strange so um he genuinely has had huge outrage of people that claim to have seen this man yes so regardless of whether or not he just completely bullshitted the whole thing regardless of whether or not the story with you know him having the dream of him or not is true it's probably not <gasps> true um i think well he said i think he came out and had said i think in like 2009 or something that was bullshit but um and then change the story when vice hit him up because it's vice and i think they pay you for that stuff so <laughs> possibly and again they didn't do any research they just none <laughs> saw the story and they were like oh let's interview this guy and he was just like okay i got gotcha. you here's you want you want a story i'm gonna tell you a story vice right sure and let's they, do it they literally got called out the day that they posted it and had to issue a retraction. They have left the article up with at the very beginning of it says edit. We got hoaxed. That's on us guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Uh, so, and, and you know, that's vice for you. They do have some really interesting stuff, but they, uh, I mean, they're just pushing out stories. That's the way it works, but yeah. <laughs> um, still, you know, so whether or not he completely made it up, um, you know, because we found out later that he was a marketing specialist, um, you know, <laughs> We found out later that this was probably some type of viral move and, and the why um, we don't really know. Was it some type of just social experiment that he wanted to do on his own? Was it viral marketing for something to come that never happened? Um, some people think so. I think it was Grindhouse was supposed to make a movie about this man and then they, they never did. And some people thought that maybe this was viral marketing for that movie. However, it seems to be the other way around. They bought the rights to it after it had already picked up steam. Yeah. Um, you know, who, who knows what the real reason is of why he did it. But again, like I said, people still claim that they have seen this man and you know, what, uh, what's up with that? You know, is it that they, become familiar with it first and then they dream about them later you know which is that makes sense i mean <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't think anybody questions that is it that 
they are replacing um, another entity in their dream uh, the, with the face of this man and just hoping that that is the connection. Um, or, or is it legitimate? Are people really seeing this guy in their dreams? It, it is. It's a really cool thought of all of that because it's <clears throat> to me, it's kind of. Think about Slender Man. Slender Man is mm-hmm. not based in reality. It was like an internet creepypasta that right. has real life ramifications. Like think of those like girls that, you know, like attacked their friend mm-hmm. because of Slender Man. And there's so many things that it's it's kind of a tulpa that's been created with it. Like it's it's so many people, like the the collective unconsciousness has kind of willed it into being. So even though this guy just made it up this one day and put it out there, it it still happens. Like there are legit reports of it, of these people having the dreams of this. And it's like, you know, where, 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 where did this guy actually get it? Did he think it up with his like brilliant marketing degree? Or maybe he did dream of it and thought, hey, this could be like a really good thing for me to make money off of. You know, like it's it's one of those things that kind of brings up the question, like like maybe he did actually dream it, like maybe that was a real thing, or yeah, it's 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 hard to say. It, it, on the website though, it does have a theories tab, and it's you know him being a sociologist, he's got the inside scoop on a lot of these, so it, it lists a couple of theories, like the. Uh, uh, it's an archetype theory. One option is, uh, you know, according to Carl Jung's psychoanalytic, psychoanalytic theory, this man is an archetypal image belonging to the collective unconsciousness that could surface in times of hardship, like emotional development, dramatic changes in life, stressful circumstances, things like that. And he will come about and have something to say in particularly sensitive subjects uh, or a religious theory that he could be essentially the form of God, which is. I think that if there's a God and he's going to come into my dreams, you you know, I was going to say he'd look a little bit cooler, but also maybe he doesn't want to look too cool (laughs) because he doesn't want to like blow your brain up while you're, while you're dreaming. So he, he appears as the most boring man ever. So as not to uh, (laughs) warp our fragile little human minds that that could actually be a possibility. I'm, I'm more buying into that one. If anything else. Especially since he, he will he will give advice and things like that. So maybe yeah. maybe that could be. <laughs> that one sounds more likely to me than the uh, the collective unconscious possibly. Uh, <laughs> then there's the dream surfer where he is he's a uh, Freddy Krueger. Yes, the, he's Freddy Krueger. <laughs> yeah, think he's he's like Freddy Krueger without. Well, again, I said keep him away from the kids. So there's your tie there. Uh, but he's not he's not been set on fire recently. So in this, <laughs> Not there's <yet>. also <laughs> the the dream imitation theory. This is a scientific psychosociological theory that claims it's a phenomenon that's arisen casually and progressively developed by imitation. So basically, people get exposed to the phenomenon and they become impressed by it that they start seeing the man in their dreams. I think that it probably is the actual real answer is that. All of a sudden, these people have come forward because of this happening somewhere, someone talking about this and it kind of spreading like like a little little virus, little snap snap here, little little click a link here, little YouTube there. (laughs) And they somebody hears about it and they start seeing it again. It didn't happen to me, but I think that's because I was more intrigued by that being the thing rather than like, oh, wow, not hearing about it, thinking it was real, more like hearing about it, thinking like, oh, that's that's really cool. <clears throat> so it's yeah i think that that could possibly be the uh the the actual thing to it it's it's a lot of people it's been willed into reality because of so many people thinking about it that it's it's spread and made an impression so it's it's like similar to like a mandela effect type thing where it's so many people are hearing it so they're all thinking the same thing well, sleep paralysis is like that. Just knowing that sleep paralysis exists can trigger you to have a sleep paralysis event. That's true. And I did. There is a um, uh, there is a spot on here where you can sign a guest book on the website. And I did sign the guest book saying, oh, yeah, that I uh, <laughs> that I, I hoped that he was. I said, I don't know this man, but I respect this man. I said, my only wish is to take enough Benadryl to see this man to keep me safe from the hat man, as I surely believe they are sworn enemies. You think they're, you don't think they're best buds? You think they're enemies? 
I don't know. Well, see, here's the thing. The hat, the hat man usually is a foreboding experience. Yeah. And yeah, this true. man is either sexually arousing or <laughs> filled with some sort of like great news no, to yeah. give you. That's so, true. I, I, I do think they, they could be cut from the same cloth, but I don't think they're from the same side of it. I think that they, they I don't feel like they would get along. It kind of hurts my feelings uh, when you put it that way, that this man has never visited me. I am sad now. <laughs> it, well, it's 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 just one of those things you've got to you, you put it out there, meditate on it before you go to bed tonight. Think about this man as you curl up in bed and maybe he'll visit you in your sleep. Who knows? <laughs> but then it won't, I know it won't be legitimate. I'll be like, well, now I because I know about it, you know, it kind of ruins the fun of it. You know, it's, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think, think I so. Think, no, no. Heck no. I think actively trying to channel this man into into appearing for a visit in your unconscious sleep i think that's the purest thing of all it's even better knowing that he would come it's like you're having a birthday party and you've sent out the letters and you're just waiting for him to show up and every night you go to sleep it's your birthday all over again and he might show up so (laughs) i think i think it's 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 a pure form of of invitation to to this man i think it works i think that would work perfectly i'm inviting this man to my birthday now um (laughs) it's it's over it's done so here's something i want to bring up this is weird and it might be a little weird so some of these some of these listeners here may or may not listen to the other shows on the podcast right they might be here just for this man and i don't blame you um but uh you know what this man reminds me of what It, it reminds me of the men in black Kind of. And I know I know that's I know you're like, huh, what? Um, so if we <laughs> if we look at this man, okay, he is obviously okay, so a full disclosure, I'm very Italian. I come from a very Italian family. He's obviously very Italian himself. And that makes sense. His creator is also very Italian. He's got very strong Italian features. Um if you go back and for the people that are super into it, if you read the Mothman prophecies by John Keel. And you read about the men in black that were occurring at the time in, or in and around Point Pleasant, West Virginia, during the Mothman flap. Um, the men in black were described as being very Italian looking. Yeah, like olive skinned. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it kind of it, it reminds me of that. Then when we look at like the dream encounters, this man, when he doesn't typically when he visits you in a dream, he doesn't talk. And so, but he does communicate messages to people. So he's communicating telepathically. And we have stories of people with the men in black that they're not speaking with their mouth. Yep. Um, And the phone calls of the people who, you know, they would call them and say, we'll be at your house soon. And then they open the door and they're already on the front step. And there's not cell phones back then. Right. They have very, they're they're not very, they have very um, supernatural type of, of, powers i guess um you know just very similar very similar stories very similar um encounters except that this man shows up in your dreams and the men in black show up at your fucking house so (laughs) (laughs) difference um this man is maybe a psychic vampire and he can only come in when invited i don't know um (laughs) i'm not sure um but you know that was initially when when i saw what he looked like that's the first thing that popped in my head was men in black that looks like a men in black at least john keel style men in black um you know and so which is very kind of specific um that's mm-hmm. not across the board in men in black history but it is during that time in men in black history where we saw that so interesting I, I thought that that was interesting and then we also had another similar phenomena happening um now in recent times have you heard of lobe <coughs> lobe lobe l-o-a-b I, lobe i think i vaguely heard of that like a couple of years ago maybe no not a couple of years it? ago it's no? very new um so you know how you talked about how this man was created with like the old school style um gorilla style ai um so ai when when that really started you know and really took off we're kind of still in that mode right um ai would consistently create this image of a woman over and over again the same woman 
and people didn't really understand why and they would kind of play with the prompts to try to figure out what is it that's triggering this woman at one point in time somebody created an image with the woman and a word popped up and it was lobe l-o-a-b and so they now they've named her lobe okay yeah. um it wasn't a couple of years ago it, it feels like it has been but i know right <laughs> no I, I i i'm looking at it now i do recall vaguely looking at this and being kind of creeped out and not looking back again <laughs> Well, and, you know, initially, um, when I had seen how this man was, or the guy claims this man was created, um, I had, I thought of that woman. And so I went and looked it up and, you know, when this, when the story first started kind of coming around, she is creepy looking. Um, uh, you know, my first thought is, oh, that's bullshit. I'd see the headlines of it and I'd be like, automatically, I'm like, whatever it is, there's some reasonable explanation. It's not real, whatever. Um, and when I dug into it again, you know, come to find out there is no explanation. And this is something that's happening. <laughs> Nobody knows why. <laughs> um, still. Uh, so that's, that's, I don't know. Now we have this man and we have this woman, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> that sounds like a country song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this man and this woman uh, by the, by the country band, the country hit band Lobe. Um <laughs> Uh, play that on play that on your radio, Timothy. <laughs> I don't I think AI music might not sound real. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's probably true. Um, you know, it would it, no, it'd just be dead silence because um that's because this man doesn't talk, so <laughs> That's true. It would just you you would hear the music, it just wouldn't be coming through the speakers. Exactly. Exactly. You could conceptualize it somehow. Um <laughs> But yeah, so I, I thought that was an interesting tidbit is that we're kind of seeing this resurgence of a similar phenomena, really. Um, not exactly the same still. She's she's not coming into anybody's dreams yet, hopefully. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. Do you do, what do you think about that similarity? I you know, there's there's a lot of those AI kind of websites, too. That one's a really creepy one with the fact that it kept appearing. Uh, there, there are some of those, like there's, there's a site that you can go to, like this person doesn't exist and it generates a completely yes. random image every time. And it's, it's, you don't even give it any prompts. You just, you know, just generate an image and every single time it generates a completely unique image with someone who does not exist. It's, it takes a basic ear shape, eye shape, mouth, nose, hair, skin tone, all of that. So it's, it's kind of kind of like that except if this is giving the same thing each time i you know i and i have used some ai generating apps that will generate something similar each time if i give it a prompt and it won't even be what i want or anything which apparently this one uh is not what they were wanting at all but yeah they kept getting the same thing i've gotten i have had that sort of a thing happen but not as weird as as lobe yeah not so. as specific yeah it is a weird well and and ai generated people are kind of a crap disturbing shoot. every well, time well it is crap shoot but it is a very disturbing <laughs> concept for us um very much an uncanny valley situation where we like recognize it's got a human face we know it's not human though yeah and um that's interesting that, that we that we know it's know? always a a situation of count the fingers <laughs> always count the fingers every time <laughs> <laughs> even now when i'm out in public and i'm around real people i'm counting the fingers i'm like is that what we've been <laughs> overlooking this whole time <laughs> possibly all the all the, the the worst kind of weirdos there are good weirdos and then there's like some weirdos so the yeah. the, the deep voiced weirdos those are the ones that you need to, to absolutely count the fingers count the but fingers. It, it also it makes me think too how many times did he try to generate the face for assuming he's just making yeah. this up for marketing purposes how many how many versions of this man did he <laughs> generate before settling on on this man like there's this man prototypes <laughs> yeah it's like it's like all right did he try like three or four and finally sell them settled on the the most boring one that's that's what i really wonder hmm that's a good question 
um you're right uh, yeah or he just i mean he popped it open he made it and that was that it was love at first sight one and done um, i wonder if he's, he's on twitter i'd like to ask him <laughs> he oh, he might be on twitter that's a good idea um that's i if you don't i will so <laughs> we might do an update to the show um, say we, we both should that way he can tell that people are yes. absolutely interested <laughs> people are interested you're you're right the show as the time of the, that we're recording this 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 isn't out yet this won't be out for a couple of months we got a while we could we could totally talk to this man and do an up or you know this the <laughs> the father of this man the, this yeah it would he would be like the opposite of frankenstein right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's because it's it's actually it's Frankenstein's monster. This is right. N- Nutella's man. <laughs> <laughs> Nutella's man. <laughs> the Nutella man. <laughs> Which, if I had an alternate ego superhero, uh, that would be it. You'd be Nutella I'd, man. Yeah. I'd be Nutella man. <laughs> yeah. You shoot Nutella from your hands. Be cool. <laughs> you can climb walls by by you know oozing Nutella from your skin and sticking to the. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Never mind. I don't want to be Nutella Man anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should make a this man. Obviously, I'm, I'm very creative. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is it is an interesting phenomenon. Like I said, the fact that we recognize that AI-generated humans aren't human, um, we know. Like something in us knows, and I think that that same instinct is what happened with this man. It's just that at that time, we didn't have, you know, all these pictures on the internet of all these fake people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Because I feel that, you know, when I look at an AI generated person, I know, I know yeah, it's not real. It's something that just jumps out at you and you're like, this yeah. doesn't feel real. Without the hands. Right. I mean, although some know. people, some people will put filters on their pictures and it does get kind of confusing because <laughs> it's like, this is you, but it's not. Right. Is this you really? You don't look like that. Yeah. True. Very true. Um, It does. It gets it, well. And people are uncomfortable with that, too. You know, we've we've seen that. Yeah. Um, so I just I think that again that's something that's just inherently within us that we just like I don't know real recognize real you know. Um, I I had read something once it was more in like a passing meme or maybe a Tumblr post or something, but it said that the the very fact that humans have this weird biological like spidey sense for noticing when something looks human but isn't. It says that why is that something that's left over in us from a time when we may have had mm-hmm. to have? So it's like, yeah, that's that's kind of good creepy food for thought. It's the uncanny valley. That's what it is. Um, you know, which is probably a whole episode for for a whole other day. But um, I mean, it it is in there, and so it's it's strange. But it's why we rec- it's why we have pareidolia as well. Um, we try to make faces out of things that aren't there. It's it's the same type of brain power that we're using um so that is interesting i don't know um this man he is the um the hoax that became real (laughs) yes indeed (laughs) we all wanted him we all wanted it to happen we made this happen you guys it's our fault it's not uh it's not nutella's fault it's it's our fault and um not nutella that hazelnutty chocolatey goodness (laughs) right you leave nutella alone um (laughs) You know, he, he, yes, yes, he, he put it out there and he created it, but, um, clearly we wanted it to happen. And so we have fed, we fed the button, the monster. <laughs> it's we just fed the grown. tulpa. We've made it real. <laughs> right. We've made it a reality. And so we can't blame anybody but ourselves. So as much as I would like to give you guys the comfort that, that this is completely a hoax and it's, there's nothing to it. Um, I'd be lying to you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Human psychology has taken over and made it real. So you you are now going to probably dream of this man after hearing this episode. Please let us know if you do dream of this yes. man legitimately. Absolutely, please. Yes, yes. Let us know. Um, I I would be interested in hearing that. The good news is that it's not scary. Um, the bad news is he might have sex with you. So I'd say, hey, that's that, that's bad news. Maybe depending on who you are. It 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 depends because there there are some reports of it. Um, uh, He's a good lover. Is that what you're trying to say? That's what some of them saying. There there's one that says 
One of the dreams on here reads, I've never had a homosexual relationship or even fantasies, but I dream about having sex with this man all the time. I must admit, he has a lot of imagination as he pleases me. Sometimes I wake up and discover I've had a nocturnal emission. That's one of the ones that the website has posted. Not some rando has written on the guest book. That's from the website itself. So (laughs) that is purported (laughs) evidence of one of the dreams. So... Good luck to you. I'm rolling those dice myself, but is it hot in here? Is it just me? My God, <laughs> this, this man. Uh- <laughs> just rub those bushy eyebrows up on me, sir. Just- right. <laughs> I, something, something about this man. I, I, all of a sudden, I'm very sexually attracted to this man. I don't know. Um, it's this man and injured cold for you. That's it. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so all nondescript very normal looking men <laughs> with with weird smiles yes with weird smiles yeah <laughs> and olive skin apparently um, <laughs> you've got to type it seems <laughs> yeah that's that's true um no i'm i'm excited i hope that people do i hope you guys do have dreams about this man i hope that he gives you great news i hope he gives you great orgasms i hope he, <laughs> i hope he gives you everything that you've ever wanted um because it sounds like he's just here to please and uh i don't hate that at all he can that's fine this man can be real that's fine yes uh, <laughs> and i i also dream of a day that he fi- he fights the hat man to the death right so <laughs> i see can they fight to the death or is it like uh like some Viking thing where, you know, you've got the wolf chasing the other wolf and the moon and the sun, and it just goes around night by night. I don't think, Ooh. I think it's an eternal battle until maybe some mental Ragnarok happens between the hat man and this man. Who knows? <laughs> Someone should make it into a comic book series. I'd read that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're just constantly <laughs> going at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, any final thoughts about this man? I just, again, I open myself to this man, and I I do invite him into my dreams tonight and every night going forward. And I'll report back if I I have a visitation. I would say all men, but I'm going to say this man. This man. This this man, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. Well, again, update us if you have dreams about this man. Let us know. Um, You can follow myself and Jimothy and the links below here. Um, And then we'll see you guys back here on the next episode. Sleep tight.